Hey Lemons, welcome back to another video of mine. So I'm actually on vacation right now. I hope my audio sounds okay, but something pretty crazy has just happened in Animal Jam and I thought I'd talk about it in a video. Anyways, if you guys didn't already know, recently some weird things have been happening in Animal Jam Mobile. Just in general, there's been hackers spotted in the game, a creepy looking all black peck model was spotted in Coral Canyons, which had made people playing around them lag and move slower, although I won't talk about it too much since I already made a video covering the creepy looking peck. Then there was some people who claimed that they had their items go into their stores all by themselves and sell for a low amount of sapphires. Rare items were sold for way less than they should have because of this weird glitch or hack. I don't think we ever figured out exactly how this happened, so it could have either been a hack or a glitch. And I just want to mention, whoever bought their items isn't at fault. They wouldn't have known the person didn't put the items in there for that price. They might have known it was a good deal, but I don't think they could have ever guessed it was put there all by itself. It's honestly just a bad situation and hard to know what to do. Anyways, let's get into the main thing I wanted to cover in this video. So a player by the name of, I hope I get this right, Apagato, went around the game and bought rare items for sapphires. They paid over in sapphires for these items, and players just assumed they overpaid for the sake of it. Apagato bought these forest boots for around 30k, and bought raccoon tails for around 70k, and more too. The thing is though, Apagato bought these items with hacked sapphires, and all the people they bought these items off were banned due to that fact. The sapphires were hacked, but it's not like the people on the game would have been able to tell they are hacked sapphires, so it definitely isn't the fault of the people on the game. They didn't know the person buying from their stores had hacked sapphires in the game. They just sold their rare items for in-game sapphires, which is totally allowed. That isn't against the rules whatsoever. It's possible Animal Jam HQ thought they were selling their sapphires for actual money though, since it was such a crazy high amount being given to the people who sold the items to Apata Gatto, or more likely, they might have been able to tell the sapphires were hacked into the game. But the thing is, we can't tell they're hacked. So how are we as the players supposed to not sell our items for the hacked sapphires? Like, that's very unfair since there isn't a way to tell they aren't real sapphires. They look the exact same. Also, for clarification, everyone who banned let Apata Gatto purchase from their stores, which was unfair since it wasn't their fault. Like, also, why does it have to result in a ban? Couldn't they at least just take all their sapphires away? It would still be suckish, but at least it would allow them to keep their accounts and their items that they worked hard for by trading. So anyways, if I were you guys, I wouldn't sell items to them. Even if they are overpaying, you'll likely just get banned anyways. Or even try to lock your dens if you do have active stores, just in case. Honestly, probably a good precaution until we know more about what's happening. Better to be safe than sorry. And for more information about Apatagato, for those curious, he apparently hacked the sapphires allegedly, whatever that is supposed to mean. It was hacked for good intentions, and he has apologized for what he did. He feels bad, I guess, and is worried about what will happen. You can think whatever you want about him, we honestly don't have much proof about anything, so I can't really give him any slander. Please don't assume anything bad about a Apatagato and wait until we know more on the situation. I'm not defending him, although we don't know enough yet to form any bad opinions. Whenever people asked Animal Jam HQ about the situation, they just gave a typical copy-pasted response, like stuff like they'll look into it or denying that players can hack sapphires into the game, which to be honest, they constantly get DMs every day. I don't blame them for giving a copy-pasted response for certain messages. Although it's pretty obvious they are denying the fact players hack sapphires into the game, if they are banning people who receive these hacked sapphires, then they are definitely aware. I hope eventually Animal Jam HQ gives everyone an update on the situation and abands any players who are banned unfairly. Currently, as I'm making this video, only two people were unbanned. Also, make sure to stay safe and lock your dens until further notice. And that's all I had to discuss. I wrote this whole script on a plane. I think that's a first. Thanks for watching my video all the way through. Make sure to inform others about this issue as it is pretty scary. It's been Lehman Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys all next time.